you know, it's real easy to get stuck in the exact same routine because you don't want to think. You come in, you do the exact same stuff. But um, I just try to add one or two different exercises or I'll just switch it up because it's always good to shock the body, let it know it, you don't want it to get used to anything. So um, keep it guessing so it has to work. Um, and you don't want to keep hitting just the same muscle fibers. So sometimes I don't even know what like muscle fibers I'm hitting. I just know that if I hit different angles, I'm doing something different. I'm a bodybuilder, call myself a bodybuilder. Um, you know, I like lift heavy weights, so I hit those type two fibers and I need to hit type one, you know, like the foundation, the, the base fibers. So these, this is like the fundamentals and it's a great way to warm up. It's also what people do for rehab with for injuries. So, cause knowing me, I like to just throw up some heavy old weight, even though I'm too tired, too weak, all that, so I gotta just, Take a little time to do this. 25 each side. You go to failure on this, you don't need to like go to 25. So when you go to failure, you just stop. Wait a couple seconds. Keep the elbow right by the body. And do external rotation. I really like to have nice shoulders. That was my weakest part when I first started training. I had two little sticks and I had to do rehabilitation exercises. But obviously I progressed and I do military presses with dumbbells. I do side lateral raises. Also what I do is I put my mind into my workout. I'm thinking I need to work the front, the middle, and the rear delt. So how am I gonna do that? What I do is I literally use different angles and slightly vary it. So I'm getting here, 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 here. All the different angles if you think about the full delt. So I work every angle. So I'll do standing side lateral raises. I'll go to the front with a barbell or I'll do dumbbell front raises. I will also do rear delts you know, from the side or from a chest machine and go back. So I just make sure I hit everything and make sure my whole belt is balanced. Now let's talk about biceps. Biceps, same thing. The biceps need to be hit in different angles. Here, 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 here. That's how I try and work because I want to hit here, I want to hit the middle, I want to hit the bottom, I want to hit the outside. And you do that by using different hand angles, different angles with the arms. Mm -hmm. So again, I just do different angles and a week out from a show, like I said, it's going to be lighter weight, it's 12 to 15 reps. I don't want to get injured. I keep the elbows right by the side. You know, and I also uh, stand straight up. I see a lot of people lean over. You're not using the full tricep. You stand up, now you're forcing the full muscle to work. And that's the correct form. So stand straight up, shoulders back, push it down, and at the bottom, squeeze. I'll do front press. I'll do a reverse press. I do with a rope, I press it down. I'll do straight dips, as you've seen with the chains. So um, I also do dips off a bench. I'll put a plate up here and I, that adds some resistance. So I do the basic moves. I don't do anything like functional or new age or whatever. I stick to basic bodybuilding moves. So in terms of chest, um, I do basic exercises as well. I li also like to use a free motion machine because I can go either in the middle to work the middle pack or upper. I personally really just like to use work the upper pectoralis uh, major and up by the clavicular fibers was I know that's a little technical sounding but you know I just want to have nice you know tone right up here so I kind of hit the upper part of my pecs mm. 
I just do two or three exercises once a week. I'm gonna answer a question that I get asked every day, all day long, and it's how I get my abs. I like to do V-ups. Um, so I hit the upper and lower abs. So you either go longer, you do it more often, or you raise the intensity. So that's either going faster or raise the incline. So here we go. 